So let's look at a couple examples of finding the area of composite shapes by decomposing the shape into different triangles. And from there, we can just add up the area of each of the triangles to find the total area of our figure. So the following figure is made up of these two triangles, A and B, and we need to find the area of each part of the figure and the whole figure. So since we're dividing this up into triangles, remember the formula for the area of a triangle is just half the base of the triangle multiplied by its height. So B for base, H for height, and the base and the height, remember these just have to be perpendicular to each other. So they have to have a right angle between them. So let's start with the area of triangle A. And with this area, it looks like it has a base of nine and a height of three. So it would be one half the base, which is nine, multiplied by the height, which is three. And nine times three, that's 27. So we have 27 divided by two. And if we want, we can write this as a decimal. Two goes into 26, 13 whole times, and we'd have one half left over. So this is 13.5. And from here, let's find the area of triangle B. And for this one, we want to take half the base, and the base of this one is seven, and multiply it by the height. And the height is also three here. So seven times three is 21, and 21 over two, we can write as 10.5. So we found the area of each of the parts, but we now need to find the total area. And the total area is just equal to the area of triangle A plus the area of triangle B. So that would be 13.5 plus 10.5. And 13 and 10, that's 23. And 0.5 plus 0.5, that's 1. So we get 24. And for this, we don't have any specific units. So we can just say this is 24 square units. And let's look at one more problem like this, where we need to find the area of each part and then add those together to find the area of the entire figure. So this one is broken up into a triangle and a rectangle. So just like the last one, the total area is just going to be the sum of the two areas of the smaller shapes. So it'd be the area of A plus the area of B. So let's start with A, since this one might be a little bit more confusing to find. And since this is a triangle, we're gonna take half the base and multiply it by the height. Now the height you can see is six because this length is six and so this length here would be six as well. But the base is a little bit more difficult to get. What we have to notice is that this vertical line splits this long bottom piece into two pieces where this would just be length five because in rectangles opposite sides are equal. That's how we knew this was six. So this would be five, and we know the total length is nine, which means this has to be four. So the base of our triangle has a length of four, and like we figured out, its height is six. So its total area is half of six times four, and six times four is 24, half of that is 12. So from here, let's find the area of B. And since B is a rectangle, we just multiply the length times the width. So five multiplied by six, which is 30. And so now we can find our total area. It's just the area of A, which was 12, plus the area of B, which is 30, and we get 42. And again, we don't have any units here that are explicitly labeled, so we can just say 42 square units.